Hello and welcome back to another exciting episode of No Quest for the Wicked. Gentlemen, I have two questions for you. Oh, dear. Yeah? Yeah. Are you ready to rock? <laughs> yes. Yeah. I'm yeah, not sure. Okay. Our excitement's a little low, boys. Yeah, we'll get it up. We're about to be murdered by Azen, so it's hard to get excited. No, you guys are going to be fine. I'll be abducted or something. Also, no, we're going to be killed and you'll be just be abducted. And it'll just be... The Azen and Cody show? It'll just be... <laughs> and the two dads trying to find you. That'd be cute. More poor Larry, ready to roll? Once roll. I roll, things are going to start to go wrong. So also no. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm excited. New new abilities, new level. I'm pumped. All right then. Well, currently, Azin has grounded the persistence and is standing on the hood of your windshield and has demanded that you give him Cody. That that is what he wants. He is currently in that feral look. His hair is a mess. His eyes are wild. Those blue lights that occasionally pulse under his skin are red and like flashing and like sporadic and and pulsing faster than you've ever seen them. And he is breathing heavy and hunched over and looks manic. Uh, And he is just pointing at Cody. And he says, give him to me now. Um, Merrick, what, what, what the hell is he talking about? As in, I don't know what you're talking about, but I bought this robot man for like a couple of credits, so he's mine. I don't know what you're getting on with. I'm <laughs> Cody looks t- perturbed by that. Is there anything you're forgetting, Cody? Well, yeah. <laughs> um, Fane, um, that was a really dumb question. <laughs> yeah, that's a really dumb question, Darren. It's not going to help us here. Um, Fane, uh, so that we could like go back to when we found Cody in that shipping container or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like, was it? just a like a random shipping container that we sort of just like walked by or like how did that sort of go down um it was just a it was like an unmarked shipping container on a planet that they they were just like liquidating contents out of it it was literally like a storage wars event yeah that was my can that was canon in my head yeah the storage wars thing that makes yeah, sense yeah 100 it was space storage wars um yes. and yeah they they were just you know, selling off storage containers. And for whatever reason, you decided to buy one. And inside was Cody. I was feeling lucky. As you can shove right off. Um, He calms a little bit and presses his hand against the windshield of the ship and phases through it. Oh, I wish he couldn't do that. And reaches into his pocket and throws you a cred stick. And he says, if it's a matter of money, consider it solved. Um, Mr. Azen, I believe it's a matter of I, I'm not owned by Merrick or you. I'm I'm me. Yeah, we just found him. Thank you. I was lost. He found me. That doesn't mean I'm owned by anybody. So if you want to talk, we could talk. But I'm not anybody's. You say these things like I should care what you want and your life are inconsequential to me and in the coming days. You understand now that this system is doomed, right? No, we're going to we're going to stop that. Yeah, well, we know about the chemicals and the poison and how the spires are failing, but we'll fix it somehow. He shakes his head and he says, this planet is already dead. You're not going to save it. And you can't save what's coming for the rest of them. I told you, Merrick, that I am the dam holding back the flood. And what is what flood are we talking about here, Azen? Is it the, the evil Valai, that evil god that we spoke to a couple hours ago? When you say that, his eyes widen <laughs> and pretty much his entire body fills with that red light. And he says, who did you talk to, Merrick? Did he How give us did... a name? No, he didn't give us a name. He didn't have he a name. He said he was nobody. 
slash yeah. nothing. How did you talk to them? It doesn't matter. Um, Merrick. What we did. How did you talk to them? Look, Asin, I've had a rough day. I've already killed one loved one with a tortured history that I have with them. I can do another one today. So if we're going to go two for two, you may as well get the show on the road. He starts, like, his eyes are darting between everyone on the ship right now. And he is, like, scanning them. Just like you can tell, like, his eyes are just bearing into everyone on the ship. And oh, he says, looking for your replacement. Merrick, I understand that you're trying to be cute and you're putting on a brave face for these people because you're their captain. But you have to understand that if that thing is in one of your people, you are in so much danger. We are in so much danger. Which one is it before I have to kill all of you? As in, these are my people and I'm not going to let anything happen to them. This person is not your person. They aren't anything anymore and you don't have to worry about anything happening to them you need to be concerned with yourself i can't give them up Hassan. now if you want to give me some actual explanation as to why i should or what this thing is or your relationship with them or why this thing is replacing you i assume with this new person if you want to give us some you know information maybe we can talk as in it's like his the the glow dies down a bit but you can still tell that he is at like Quite literally high alert. And he says, I don't know what you think my relationship is with this thing, but it is not one of camaraderie. I am trying to stop it. Why you then, Asin? Were you the one that discovered it? That awoken it? I'm not sure, but I can feel it. And I know it's here, right now, listening, watching. And the more it knows... The more it learns, the dangerous it gets. You and Merrick could talk outside, and then no one could hear. He looks at you, Merrick, and Durin, and says, If you don't trust the people you're with, then you need to leave them. Uh, he's now staring at Cathan and Satir. Uh, Cody steps forward. It's like, it's not that we don't trust them, it's that you don't, and I'm trying to make things okay for you, because we need to talk, and if you're unwilling to, you know, for fear of whatever, let's step outside and we'll chat there. We're trying to stop this thing too. Surely having allies is good, right? Uh, he steps up and over the console and back through the windshield and walks down. Was was yeah. that a yes? Do you know you know him there? It was a yes. Yeah, oh, it was a yes. yes. I, I go up and, like, touch the windscreen. I'm like, oh, we gotta go the most diplomatic way. thing I've ever, you've ever seen you do, Cody. Good job. I try. I'm just bad. <laughs> I'm, I'm, as, as we sort of walk by to exit, I'm going to look at Catherine and Satir and say, Catherine, I need you to take Satir into, we don't have a med bay, but if you want to take him, just <laughs> give him a one over. We, There's the, we have that empty he, area that, that was, that's going to be a med bay one day. It's just kind yeah. of like this empty shelled out spot and you can kind of have him sit there. I pull out a contract. I'm like, we signed a contract that said we can't have a med bay. Remember? Oh yeah. Damn it. Anyway, give Satira a look over. I'm just concerned with what Asin said. Don't worry, Satir. We're going to get you out of this, okay? He nods. Okay. You are Satir, right? <laughs> he signs yes. Didn't mean to be rude. Had to double check. Can I do a sense motive? Sure. Just in case, you know. Um, I have a 32. He's telling the truth. Okay. I just give I just give a quick nod and... Like, Start heading towards, I guess, where the hell are we going to go? Where, where are we meeting him? Like, I guess That's on top a, of the ship? I don't know. Just find a, the closest latch and we'll figure it out. All right. Yeah, he's he's just outside on the, the ground. Okay. Yeah. What's the game plan here, boys? You guys aren't going to give me up, right? No, we're not going to give you up. <laughs> it's not in a million years, Cody. Yeah. Okay. We'll listen to what he has to say. We're, once again, if he wants to kill us, he's a high, like, we're stronger than we were last time. But I do not know if we could stop him. He almost threw our ship to the ground. I don't think we can. Get as much information as we can. If we have to run, we, we run. Okay. I don't know. I wouldn't mind trying to get this stupid chaos piece off the chessboard if we could. I wouldn't mind getting it on our side, because he can punch a tank. He can punch a tank. It, it was pretty cool. Once so, again, I still... The thing, I just as we sort of were casually walking outside, I just can't put my finger on what Asin's like, part is. You know, in all this, like I, every time I think I know the answer, something comes up that disproves it. Like sand slipping through a finger. 
Like sand slipping through a finger. You taught me that. I think you need to just lean in with your relationship. He obviously feels a great deal for you. And I think that's the only thing holding him at bay. I, I know you joked about it in the, or you lied about it in the, the base, but I really do think if he's the damn holding whatever it is back, I think you're the damn holding him back. So uh, it's all on you, Captain. I climb we'll you up see. the shoulder. <laughs> we'll keep you safe, Cody. But Cody, anything that you, I know your memory has been gone and I know nothing comes back to you easily, but we're in a, apparently you have something to do with this. I know things have been coming back to you lately. Just go through those again in your head. You, what was the name of the kid that built you again? Alpha. Yeah, maybe he and obviously Mezos had something to do with this. So there's got to be something that you've seen or that you know or that was built into you that is a key or some kind of codex that will help us solve this mystery. Yeah, I, I, I'll, I'm trying. but um, I know. I know you are, and I'm not trying to put pressure on you. I know when the time comes, you'll come through. I'll do my best. And we finally get outside. We sort of take that little bit of time just to piss him off a little bit. (laughs) You see that he has, uh, when you get there, he has uh, like wandered off and has come back with a large like military mesh sack uh, that is about the size of like a motorcycle. Like it's it's big. He's carrying it over his shoulder with something, something heavy inside of it. And even with this like thick mesh fabric, you can see that it is glowing blue inside. See, so you haven't bought any new luggage. He doesn't res- like he, like not even a smile, not even a crack. You used to like my jokes. As in looks at Cody and he says, I need him. You guys are piecing your puzzle together and I understand that. But him, that robot. Android. He's a piece in my puzzle. I think you're going to have to give us a better explanation than that. I would agree with that. Well, it's I'm assuming it has to do with Mezo himself. Do you know Alpha? As in like you just you all these names you're saying to him don't face him. He doesn't give any sort of, you know, recognition. Um and he says, "I told you that I can feel this thing. There are other things that draw me. I'm walking a path." And I know that it is the one that stops this. I would love to give you some sort of fairy tale ending, a grand answer to all the big questions that you have, but I don't have it. All I have is the knowledge that I need to act. Then give it to us. Give us that knowledge. You're expecting some trust here where there's clearly none. I don't need you to trust me. I don't need you. And when he says that, can the three of you give me a will save, please? <laughs> and now I wish I took the other operative feat. <laughs> oh, that's 20! Yes, Duran, my boy. Oh, that's my worst skill. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I get an 18. Which? Uh, I have a 21. I think we were all good on this one, boys. No, not, not good enough for me. When he says that, you can feel a a demeanor change uh, from talking to you to turning hostile. And that shift, that very, very subtle change in Azin, there's a ripple of fear that grips you in your stomach. But you guys have been through a lot and you all manage to fight through it. And you see his back foot slide a little bit and his knees bend a little bit and he looks at you again and says how did you speak to it they've uh look all right we'll go one for one here i'll tell you and i'll answer one of your questions and you answer one of mine how's that sound he tilts his head in the way that you know that he's agreeing to you but doesn't want to say it we just came from uh the military base the, where the Iberium goes, uh, the big military depot. And in there, we uh, found one of our crewmates, our original crewmates, who supposedly was killed by the Sinonans, but it was actually an attack by the military to try to get... Anyway, blah, 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 blah. Uh, and he was, as we've been calling it, gooped. He wrinkles his face in disgust at that term. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's, it was gooped. We can't. If you have a better, more accurate, actual term, maybe we'll switch, but who knows? Anyway, apparently he was a match, or they were looking for a catalyst or something like that. And he apparently 
can connect to it, I guess. Uh, you see his eyes drift up from you guys to the ship again. But he didn't make it out. Give me a bluff check. Every time Merrick tries to be honest, Cody just always comes in with a last second <laughs> bluff that's going to get us fucking killed. Well, you being honest isn't not going to get him killed. He's literally looking up at the ship. That's a seven. <laughs> 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 like Cody's not gonna sit here and let you sell him out. I mean, we did give Cody a ton of shit for like being too honest. It's true. Okay, um, he gives you a very sideways glance, Cody, and returns staring at the ship, and he says, "That is a problem that you need to deal with immediately." We'll do it with it our way. Well, why is it a problem? You don't understand why the entity that is currently trying to destroy the system, being able to take over the body and mind of someone that you have on your ship is a bad thing. Do you need me to describe that in further detail? Yes. As in, we're willing to take that risk to save a friend. That's, you know, I'm happy to distance you so that you don't give away your secrets and you're not in danger. We'll take that risk. If we're important... Let us live and help us. If we're not important, then why does it matter if we die? You're right. Everyone roll initiative, please. Ah, cool. Cool. (laughs) Sweet. (laughs) I was talking about being killed by Satir. Well, and we still haven't, like, have we had time to reheal our our stamina at least from the last fight? Nope. I'm sure it took like 10 minutes to get out of the ship, right? We did (laughs) say we took a long time. I mean, (laughs) it's okay. It's okay. Dane wants us on uh, on the rebound. That's fine. We like while he was out there, we like made an, a nice little cappuccino each. We sat down. We read a page or two from our books. Give me your initiative, Dern. A 28. I really wish I didn't take improved initiative. <laughs> I hate going first. You can one shot him before we even get to go. Cody? Uh, 14. Merrick? 13. Dern, you're going first, buddy. Yeah, uh, well, I'll do my, my classic. I'll activate my cloaking field and hide in plain sight. Uh, okay. Give me your stealth check. We'll do. Uh, 22, but it's a nat one, so I don't know how you want to interpret that. You know what? I'm not going to. Uh, he rolled like shit, but just barely sees you. <laughs> we all we all rolled like shit. I feel like Duran disappears, but he's also standing in sand. So as he just looks at the oh, <laughs> my footprints are clearly there or like there's a gust of sand that blows up and it's just the outline of Duran. Uh, you can tell that he is now like solely fixated on Cody. But when you shimmer out of existence with the uh, with your cloaking field, you see his eye dart to where you are for a brief mm-hmm. second and right back to Cody. That's my turn. It is his turn now. Um, he's already used his unnerving gaze, so he is... You know, he's going to go after you, Durin. He doesn't know what you're up to. He doesn't like the cool. fact that you're trying to hide. So he um, holds oh, out yeah. his hand and with a telekinetic force... He pushes you, and you feel this crushing weight on you. Does a 33 EAC hit you? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, it's 10 over, if that matters. Nope, this isn't too e. Oh, I wasn't sure. Some of these spells have weird things like that. Oh, this is his normal attack. Oh, um, great. This is, you take 29 points of force damage. Oh, fuck me. Okay. <laughs> As this, it feels like you're hit by a fucking truck square in the chest. Holy shit. Uh, he went through all my stamina in one hit. And he walks calmly towards you, Cody. Uh, it is your turn. Uh, I speak into our comms and I'm like, uh, covering fire from the ship, maybe? Uh, this guy's gone psycho. And oof, did that look like kinetic damage? It was force damage, hmm. so which I think is considered energy. Okay, I am just going to charge this motherfucker because why not? Okay, uh, charge bull rush. Yeah, that's not going to do it. <laughs> Come in with a twenty-four. Yeah, no, because uh, I'm you're bull rushing, right? Casey plus yeah. eight. Yeah, yeah. Um, this as feels you, like such an important fight, and we're just fucking it up so hard. He's just walking directly towards you, and you come running top speed at him and you lower your shoulder to hit him square in the chest and you do and you almost fall back onto your ass as he just stands there unmoved staring down at you and you see his chest 
uh, has turned silver and hard like metal, and then it ripples back into his normal form. I'm just like, we're on the same side. Can't you just help or fuck off? I am helping. Doesn't look like it. I'm not helping you. And Merrick, it is your turn. As and I don't want to fight you. I, I never do, but it's my job to look after these people. So just, as Cody said, fuck off. And I'm going to activate uh, strength of purpose to heal some stamina back. As Merrick heals 32 stamina. Okay. From his brand new ability. Going to now, I didn't talk about this uh, last time. Do you want your Solarian Blade to be permanently blue or only when you're in pur- strength of purpose? Oh, oh, it's pro- okay. It's probably going to change colors with strength of purpose. That sounds that sounds pretty cool. Yeah, okay. that's how I interpret it when it all went down. Yeah, so Merrick's black orb once again turns a nice cerulean blue as he glows that blue color as well, and he sort of steps up to Azin and makes an attack. Okay, I don't know if honestly if we get a hit in. I feel like we've achieved a victory. You know, <laughs> um, does a twenty three KAC hit? It does not. Does twenty four do it? It does not. Okay, uh, so yeah, Merrick goes in. I guess Merrick, uh, like Azin just puts an arm up to stop me and just like easily. Yeah. He just literally catches your blade in his hand and holds it there as he looks at Cody. Asin, I please, Asin. Uh, he looks at you and he says, you've always been big picture, Merrick. Asin, I could have been helping you this whole way through. From the very beginning, I would have said yes. I would have done anything you asked. Why do you have to do this by yourself? Because the night I met you, I made you do something terrible. And I'm not going to let you do it again. You don't have what it takes to make this happen. The fact that you're protecting him is evidence enough. I won't let you sell your soul to save this universe. And he pushes your sword back away. Durin, it is your turn. Okay. Um, I am going to use my trick attack. Okay. Come on. Um, With a stealth of 24. Not enough. All right, I'll just get off my standard attack. Circling around. Desert makes it hard to hide. Oh, my God. What the fuck? Uh, 17 versus EAC. (laughs) Once again, the shot hits him, but his shoulder goes silver, and the bullet just ricochets off. This is so frustrating. Ever since this combat started, I haven't rolled above a 7. From the ship... You hear the turret spin up and Jenny over Calm say, all right, covering fire. And Azin just begins getting pelted with the coil gun and he ends up getting pushed back about five feet away as he puts up a silver shield to deflect as many bullets as he can. But you can imagine being shot with a starship grade weapon uh, is difficult even for him. And he ends up sliding back his feet, digging deep into the earth. And he is about five feet away from you guys now. Now, does that provoke? Uh, I will say yes, it does. It is forced All movement. Right. All right. Well, that's still not going to do it, but. Not going to do it on my side either. It's a 23. 19. No oh, on damn. both fronts. He lowers his shield and says, I don't want to kill you, Merrick. Then don't, as in. If you won't let us help you directly, just can we stay on our own path for a while longer? Give us a little bit more time. As you say that, you feel the earth below you begin rumbling. And then a earthquake rumbles through the ground. He looks down and says, there is no more time. Uh, he is going to take an attack on you, Merrick. He five foots in and takes a swing. That is a, a, a big number. Tell us. Tell us. <laughs> I, I still want to hear it, though. Uh, it's a 43 to hit, KAC. Ooh, what the fuck? Yeah, that does it. Wait, what the fuck, dude? His hand turns into a blade and slashes down across you. You can tell that he is pulling his punches and hits you for 25 points of slashing damage. Ugh. Uh, it is Cody's turn. So is he between me and Merrick? He's sort of, he, he stepped up. So no, he's like, yeah, he's beside you. So it's you and Merrick side by side and as in in front of Merrick. Okay, I guess just two attacks. You gotta, 
I got none better I could do. That's not going to do it. Now that might. That's a 25. You're off by one. Well, my little my little Aeon Stone lights up. Um, you get a, a brief flash of insight from your Aeon Stone. And how do you hit Azim? I think I'm freaking out because I didn't think he would actually come for Merrick like that. And I think have seeing him actually cut into Merrick kind of like takes away my last like kind of glimpse that we're getting out of this peacefully. And just as he comes in, I like throw a punch that he dodges. And then as he ducks down, I've just got like an uppercut that like clips him on the side of the face. For full damage, 21 points of sonic damage. Yeah, you hit him. And it's weird because you've seen Azin fight before. You've seen Azin literally just take a barrage of starship bullets and he feels human. Hmm. And you don't know, like that's probably not what you thought it was going to feel like to hit him, but it felt like it just hit a normal dude. Just uh, square on the jaw. He's also off balance. Yeah, you can tell like he's <laughs> not used to getting hit and that... Uh, He's got little stars in his eyes at the moment. Uh, Merrick, it's your turn. Cody, get to the ship. Me and Darren will hold him down. No. Cody, he's after you. Yeah. This either ends with you getting away, him taking you, or us all dying. But he's willing to hurt you. We take him down together. Cody, as your captain, get to the ship. Merrick um, goes to make two attacks himself. Okay. 23 does not do it. Nope. He is flat-footed for this, though. Yeah. Yeah, I missed twice. I rolled a 10 both times. Um, He, once again, is now just parrying your blows. He's not fighting as uh, confidently now that he's taken a hit from Cody. He is now uh, actually using a weapon himself to defend himself. Uh, Durin, it is your turn. All right, trick attack again. Come on, come on, come on, come on. on. Um, I got a 27 stealth. Not enough. Fuck me. Fuck. Why? Why is this happening? <laughs> Dirty 20 on the attack. Not enough. EAC? Could Merrick and Cody please give me a reflex save? Seven. 21. Uh, Merrick, you fail. Cody, you succeed. As you guys are fighting, out of the sky, a giant ball of fire hits the ground at your feet and explodes. Uh, Merrick, you're taking 31 points of fire damage. Cody, you're going to take 15 points of fire damage. I forgot about her. (laughs) As Lady Emberheart slams into the ground (laughs) and she is ablaze. And it's hot in the fucking deserts of Yusuron, but you might as well be on Chirillus at this point because it is scorching. Durin, you're nowhere near her. And you can feel the ends of your hairs beginning to curl and singe. Uh, Merrick, Cody, this blast of fire has knocked your asses back 10 feet. And she is now walking towards Azin, scorching the earth with every step. And Azin looks over, has no idea what the fuck is happening, as she once again puts her hands together and unleashes a gout of flame as it just absolutely envelops him and then she begins sprinting full force and tackles him and they go shooting off into the distance we found him for you we'll expect that payment soon uh captain ready to retreat now and i just start fucking it for the ship i think we can get get the fuck out of here yeah yeah yeah, yeah. let's go let's Initiate go, let's go. GTFO protocol. yeah yeah <laughs> Like, I was going to obey you the whole time. As you guys are running back to the ship, you notice there is once again that big bag that Azen had is has been left behind. Oh, grab the shit out of that. Fuck yeah. it. Let's let's go. I <laughs> just grab it. <laughs> it's big. So the three of us are just carrying it together, I guess. Oh, man, this is probably super dangerous. But all right. You guys begin dragging it and it's <laughs> fucking heavy. We just fucking rob him, like yo. You uh, you manage to get to the loading platform of the ship, and Satir is standing there. Hey, Satir. Oh, oh god. Hey, do you remember what Azen asked you, Merrick? The night you met. The night we met. It's a bit blurry. What exactly was it? And in the distance, you see military. Those jets. 
coming back your way. And Satir takes a step out into the desert and smiles and says, Azin asked you if it would be a mercy to let this planet die. Do you remember what you said, Merrick? I'm hoping I said it, the planet shouldn't die. <laughs> you did not. So Merrick, let us be merciful. And Satir raises his hand. And with a flick of his wrist, you see one of those jets slam into the nearest spike. And it explodes and crumbles to the ground. And with it, you feel another rumble in the earth. And then another one of the jets unleashes missiles that soar overhead into the next spike. And it explodes. And you feel the rumbling on the ground grow. And Satir begins laughing as you feel the earth below you begin to crumble and crack. He smiles and says, Welcome to the beginning of the reckoning. As a silver drop runs from his nose, he presses his finger against it and looks down at the liquid and says, A pity I don't get to see it. As he crumples to the ground. I run for him. Uh, you manage to catch him in your arms, but you've seen this before. Durin, Durin. You, you, yeah. You've got to know something. Please try something. Okay, I'll do a, a medicine check just to see if he's... Yep. Uh, of, of course, there's my good rolls. Fuck you, dice. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Um, I got a 32. Uh, Steer is dead. He's, he's gone, Cody. We just got him back. I know. We just got him back. No. The ground beneath your feet begins splitting open. Take him with us. We'll give him proper burial later. Let's go. Was Satir standing on the ramp or on the ground? On the ground. I'm just, I'm not moving. I'm just holding him. Cody, we gotta go. I can't hear you. You hear over your comms. Uh, guys, we, we really gotta go. Cody, we have to go. You see the front of the ship lurch forward as the ground that it's currently sitting on has cracked open and it begins slipping down. You want our death on your conscience, too? Let's move. I'm not ignoring you. I'm just not, like, there. I grab him. Sure. If you want to bring this thing that Azen had, you're going to need to give me strength checks if Cody's not helping. Oh, okay. Well, hey, I'll make a strength check for this. Let's let's, let's do it, man. There, come on, let's go. A nine. Uh, 19 on the dice. That's going to be 23. If I switch to graviton mode and use gravity hold to help lift it, does that help? Yeah, I say with the 23, that's that's a pretty good strength check. Uh, it takes a lot from you. And for a second, you feel, uh, once again, the ship lurch forward. And you hear Short Jack being like, oh, guys, we really got to go. But you manage with one full yank. You feel that push of gravity from behind it. And you yank it up onto the platform as the shield activates on the back half. And uh, you hear the engine starting to turn. Punch it. Um, you manage to get into the bridge and uh, Short Jack is once again at the wheel and he's pulling up as hard as he can as the persistence slips into the crack in the ground. And he manages to pull it up just in time before it sinks all the way in. And you guys have taken flight. I feel like the jolt as like the ship sinks down, it's almost like Cody got slapped and he just like snaps awake, walks over and pushes Short Jack out of the chair wordlessly and just takes the wheel. Hello friends, Space Jim Dane here to do the things. I have so much to do that I am going to try to make this quick. I know I say it every time. I know I say this every time, but we're going to do it. First and foremost, we hope you're enjoying the episode. Second, exciting news. I forgot to mention it last time, but we are being sponsored by the wonderful people over at Misty Mountain Gaming. If you're not familiar with Misty Mountain, they make some of the coolest fucking dice available. You've got hard resin dice, you've got gemstone dice, you've got cool metal dice, you've got metal dice that are cut out in it. There is a dice set for literally any character concept. I promise you, if you go in there thinking about a, a set of dice that complements your character, 
you will find it. And you might think, but Dane, cool dice can be expensive. Maybe. And that's why we're here to help you. We have a very handy discount code that you can use at checkout. NoQuest10 will get you 10% off anything in the store. Once again, that is 10% off everything at Misty Mountain Gaming using our code NoQuest10. On top of that, we have a whole bunch of new uh, content available out over on the Patreon. The world primer this month is Therum, the pinnacle of culture and Casamal. If you heard the House of Muses and you want to learn a little bit more about that, head on over to the Patreon and grab the World Primer for yourself. You've got everything, including uh, the structure of the uh, Federation of Councils. You've got places like the House of Muses. You've got all sorts of fun quest hooks and encounters and NPCs that you can introduce into your own campaign. And the boss for June for the boss rush is Voltaire. Voltaire is a unique stat block because he doesn't actually have a stat block. He's more of an encounter that has a bunch of traps, as you saw in the show. So he's a really, really fun way to add in a, a sort of like different kind of boss fight for your party. So head on over to NoQuestCast.com and click the Patreon link and check out some of the content for yourself. And finally, we would love to have you over on the Discord. Head on over to NoQuestCast.com, click the Discord link, and we'd love to have you in our warm community embrace. It's a great place filled with great people, and it will only be greater with you in it. We would love to have you, and we hope to see you soon. Without any further ado, I hope you enjoy the rest of the episode. Uh, yeah, it is Battle Stations, boys. As the remaining Ministry of Defense jets, the ones that aren't coming towards you are flying towards Gentino, where the majority of the spikes are. And you can see in the distance uh, them crashing into them uh, as you get uh, a notification that a target lock is on you guys and the other ones are beginning to engage you. Wait, the Ministry of Defense people are engaging us right now? Uh, the ones in the jets. Yep. They've all been gooped. Mm hmm. Yeah, but still. Defensive maneuvers. Let's get to battle stations. All right. Let's remember how to starship combat. <laughs> yeah. My role's pretty simple. I'm pretty I'm pretty all right. <laughs> now, if you open up the persistence sheet, you will notice that the persistence has gotten a little a little upgrade. Do we have a med bay now? <laughs> you don't have a med bay now. Um, what has changed? Your power core is bigger. Nice. And your shields are better. Ooh. Take a look at now. Your shields are 15 on all sides. You have a total of 60 shields. Cool. Instead of like the 15 or whatever that you originally had. We are going to go into ye old starship combat. Um, so this starts with the engineering phase. Hell yeah. Um, I want to divert power to engines and get us the fuck out of here. Okay. So the way this is going to happen is we're going to do uh, combat. Um, you guys can't technically leave atmosphere while you're being chased. So you guys are going to be fighting over the surface of Usuron. Oh, cool. But the increasing the speed of the engines uh, is beneficial because it will help you. Uh, it, it increases your positioning check. Yeah, right on. All right, I'll make my engineering check. Um, I succeed uh, with a 29. Amazing. So I believe that gives you two. Uh, plus two to your positioning check, right? Or no, sorry. It's uh, a, yeah. yeah, increases yeah. your positioning DC by two. Yeah, cool. It is now the helm phase. Pilot check. Uh, yes. So, uh, this will be your positioning. I uh, guess. Uh, that is a thirty-three. Okay. They I don't got... take any bonuses, right? I just flat piloting in a roll. Um. So you're getting a plus three from the ship. Oh. Uh, that's a thirty-six then. You managed to get into position, but you can see that they're also getting into position. Um, so you're going to have to give me, you can take one of the actions, either a stunt or whatever you want to do. Um, I think we did that backwards. I think you're supposed to do this first and then we roll position, but that's okay. Yeah, it's all good. Who needs rules? I think I will evade for now. Okay. Uh, yep, that'll pass it. So plus two to AC and TL. Okay, cool. So you can take your attack on, there's three ships currently scrambling towards you. Uh, I'm going to attack the middle one. Oh, we're in gunnery phase? We are in gunnery phase, yes. Okay. Um, I'm going to give you a plus two of this, uh, Cody. 
Uh, I definitely don't need it, but <laughs> that is... Well, I got a 19 on the die, so... I uh, guess you hit. I can assume. Uh, what what arc are you targeting for their shields? Front arc. Because I assume okay. we're flying at each other, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, for sure. I'm just like, I'm gunning it right into his face, spinning the ship, and just shooting. All right. Um, then... That's 4d4. 11 points of uh, laser damage. Uh, to the front arc, you said? Okay, so that will be ship one that you're currently attacking. Um, so Jenny's going to be using the coil gun until you tell her to use the the tor- torpedoes. Mm-hmm. Um, what's our new friend doing on the ship? Uh, Catherine, he was back with Satir, as you said, um, but he's now run into the ship and is kind of like looking around to see what he can do to help. How's his mysticism looking? It's bad. <laughs> so two attacks are coming your way. Um, they are also going to be targeting your forward arc because they're, you know, you guys are flying towards each other. Mm-hmm. Um, AC or TL? Uh, this will be AC. That is a roll of 19 on the dice. Dang that missed. is a 24. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that one is a 14. Nope. So one of them, you can see they activate their particle beams at the front of the ship, and one just whiffs, whiffs completely as you unload on it, and the other one is going to hit the forward arc for 21 points of damage. 21 points of damage? Yes. Uh, okay. So that, we that went through blow through our it. shield completely, and we take, what, six points of hull damage? Uh, yes. <laughs> Our whole point total right now is 69. Nice. Yeah, nice. And it's only when we break the critical threshold of hold points that we... Right. So when you take... Uh, it has to be 15. Every 15 points of damage, you'll be glitching. Yeah, but only to hold, right? Not to hold. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. Great. So have we blown through their front shields? It doesn't look like it. Really? With 17 mm-hmm. points of damage? Uh, well, you did 8, right? I did 11. Oh, then uh, still no. They look bad, though. How's Catherine's acrobatics and athletics? <laughs> They're not bad. Uh, Shortjack's on sci- as science officer right now, right? Yes, he okay. wasn't there because uh, he hadn't. He was at in piloting, so he had to use his turn to get to engineering. Yeah, yeah, fair. Uh, or sorry, science. Um, so he is now there. You know, Catherine is pretty good at like engineering stuff. Um, so if you need him to take another action as an engineer, he probably can. But he is wildly unfamiliar with this ship and doesn't really know what's going on. I don't know where to put him, honestly. Maybe Captain, I don't know. I need you to fill in as my chief mate. Oh, yeah, you got it. Just help everyone else where you can. All right. We'll tell you the details now, but he has a bunch of actions that are just supporting actions. I got you. He sort of is like me. He has an action that he can do in the helms phase, engineering phase, or mostly helm or engineering. So he can either help the engineer out with their checks or help the helm, helm phase out with a couple different actions. So he can help make a hard turn. He can maintenance, okay. like the active maintenance panel. So he can help uh, Cody and Dern out with a couple what of are you, actions. What are you doing, uh, Dern? It's your turn. We're in the engineering phase. Um, I would like some help if I could get it from someone. Yeah. Uh, Catherine, uh, maintenance the panel access. Uh, we also have two plus ones per round, just a reminder. Okay. And a plus two to computers, which I believe is short check. Yeah, yeah. I need I need Catherine to roll into acrobatics or athletics. That's going to beat a DC ten plus one and a half your starship tier. Okay. Uh, so DC ten. You're diverting 10. power, right? Right. Um, turn is that the plan? Oh, I'm I'm going to overpower and like it's the same thing. And but if I succeed, it goes to three different sections. Yeah. Well, if Catherine helps you exceed. You get an additional one from him too. Cool. Oh shit! All right. I'm doing acrobatics or athletics or athletics. Yeah, that's weird. But <laughs> I, be- I believe you're like pulling like cables and shit. shit. Yeah. 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 Um, OK, well, he got a 26. He's in it. He succeeds. OK, uh, how much do I add to this dice roll then? Uh, no benefit from that, but you get plus two from me. OK, um, and you get to add it to a different system. Hell yeah. OK, so I you add use resolve point to do this. Uh, my engineering comes out to a beautiful 34. Mm. So I knocked it out of the park. Like I get an extra system with yep. this. Then all four systems get uh, the divert function. Okay. So uh, plus two to your positioning DC or plus two to your speed. Mm-hmm. Plus two to crew actions for the science officer. He's going to do a scan on these ships is what Short Jack's first. Uh, no, no. <laughs> Balance shields. You're doing 15% of uh, restoring your shield. So, like, oh, okay, that front cool. arc is getting fully restored. 
Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, we're good. Um, and then with the weapons, any ones you roll will be treated as. Oh no, sorry. Any ones you roll will be treated as twos for the attack. Did you say fully restored the front or just fifteen? Yeah, man. Front? Nope. It's five yeah. percent of the PCU, and because you guys upgraded your ship, or because it's another Eris reactor has been added, five uh, percent of three hundred is fifteen. Oh, yeah, yeah. Damn. So, so with so with this Dern's just like sweating, he's just going through, and he's just plugging things maybe where they shouldn't go to, but powers up all four systems to for, so it's good to go. And you see the second uh, uh, Catherine sees what you're doing, he runs over and just smashes open a panel and like tears it off and begins uh, pulling wires and like rerouting systems and stuff. Um, almost like it's second nature. Like he's been on the ship, you know, for years. Nice. You keep it up, Kath, and you'll keep the job. But you can tell he keeps looking out the windshield at the planet getting absolutely fucked. And like, you can tell he is very concerned. Um, and you guys are, are now uh, closing in on Gentino. You can see it in the distance. Cody very cheerfully says, do you have uh, any idea what the weapons capabilities are of these ships? Short Jack succeeds on his scan. So he gives you a little bit of a rundown on it. Um, again, I'm not doing the, the DCs of it because it's a lot of information that mm-hmm. sucks. Basically, Cody wants to know the dangerous arcs if he wants to avoid certain weapons. Forward arc is the most dangerous. It has a particle beam that does 8d6 points of damage. At that point in time, the port and uh, the turret or so the turret also has a heavy plasma torpedo launcher that does 5d10 and but it has limited ammo and the the port has a coil gun which does 4d4 other than that it doesn't seem like this spaceship has any sort of special abilities it is just a sort of straight up and down fighter uh all right it is the helm phase so cody give me your pilot action and then we'll do the the positioning check after uh i'm gonna fly by to exclude the forward arc of that middle ship Okay, the one you've already attacked or another yeah, one? The one we've already okay. attacked. Cool. That probably won't do it. Uh-oh. Don't forget the bonus. The bonuses. Oh, yes, true. I get a plus three. Oh, wait, what do you give me? Uh, plus two. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we hit it on the money. <laughs> oh, fuck yes. Yes! <laughs> Damn. Yeah, with the plus three and the plus two, we hit it, the 27 pile in DC, like literally spot on. Nice. Um, all right, so the middle ship will not be able to use its front arc. See, that's really good because if we fail it, we get a, they get a plus two against us. Actually, should we just like explain some of these stunts because they're slightly different from the book because we modified yeah. ship combat. I, I won't go through them all, but when we use them, I will. So yeah. Dane's new version of flyby, just for our you know podcast version, just so you're not confused, is effectively use the flyby stunt to exclude the arc of a targeted ship. If you succeed, but if you fail, uh, you expose yourself and they get a plus two with that arc against you. That's pretty cool. I have more stunts this time. All right. Positioning checks. All right. Let's go. Now, do I still get that plus two on this? Yes. Yeah. Cool. So 34. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you do it. Yes. Uh, they also are. Well, the first one gets in position. Ooh, second one does not. The third one does not. No, this flyby. Um, despite the fact you fly really close to this front point ship and the other two don't want to risk shooting their ally, so they hold off on their attacks for this round. He tries to line up a shot on your uh, front arc with his proton or particle beam, but can't. So you see the turret on the back sort of swoop around and uh, they're going to hit you in the uh, port with their missile launcher. Is that target lock? It is not. No. Oh, okay. Oof. That was a big hit. Well, uh, did you roll? Two oh, hit? yeah. I do have I do have to roll to hit you, don't I? Uh, oh, no. I don't hit you. <laughs> <laughs> roll a two. <laughs> um, Hell, yeah. You see this missile. You, you can tell it's going to fuck your ship up. I rolled 29 points of damage on it. As you uh, fly over it, you dip down and around, and the missile goes sailing over you your ship. Um, I will let you guys roll your attacks on it now. Yeah, I'm going to take one of the plus ones and I'm going to just like the ship I'm under just like angle upwards and just like close range. Fuck it up with lasers if possible. You're doing the front arc as well? Uh, Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Jenny's going to roll her attack roll. She's taking a plus one as well. She hits. Uh, That is a 24. Yeah, that hits. Uh, so that's going to be nine points of damage this time. Why does her damage feel really low? We are still really 
low level weapons. Okay. Someone didn't give us time to upgrade uh, our weapons before making us go into a ship combat. <laughs> uh, that's that sounds all right. All right. The shield shatters as it does. You see Jenny uh, aim. Um, do you want her to use torpedoes or do you want to keep I think using seeing their torpedoes? I'd be like return fire. Okay. Jenny, let loose the big beast gun thing. Torpedoes, go. All right. Oh, also, did you roll one in any of those oh, damage? Oh, shit, I did, yeah. Should be a two. Okay. Uh, so add two to that. Okay. So 11 points of damage. You see, Jenny, uh, as you break that front arc shield, it opens up, and she puts a fucking missile right into the front of the ship, dealing some pretty decent damage. Uh, they're almost in their first critical threshold. It is back up to engineering. Cool. Um, you know what? I'm de- I have the resolve points to do it. I'm just going to overpower again if someone wants to help me out. Yeah, Merrick. Durin, that cool thing you did. Let's do it again. I hope I can do it again. <laughs> Pushing it. Destroyed it. Um, yeah, I got a 35. So it succeeds. Once again, all four systems just up and going. Well, only three. Catherine can't do his thing again. Oh, never mind. Only three. So um, well, I'll exclude the science officer. Can the shields be overclocked? No. Then maybe exclude the shields because oh, we're four. Exclude right the shields now. then. Sorry, I forgot there was no damage to the shield. Yeah. So I'll exclude uh, the shields and give everyone else their bonuses. That's um, my turn. No, we did it wrong. You're not getting a plus two to your piloting check, Nile. Mm. You, it gets plus two to your speed. So anything that gets calculated with speed is getting increased. Oh, my, okay. my apologies. Um, so the the, uh, the DC for the positioning check goes up, and uh, some of the things, like some of the stunts, give you benefits based on speed. I'm going to say, hey, Cathan, there's a lot of buttons over here in the engineering thing. Just start hitting stuff. And then he's going to er- activate our erratic maneuvering. What the fuck is that? Where do you see Would that? You- Open, it's a, it's under open and crew actions. Dude, I am going through this sheet. I am learning a lot of things. Open crew action. Okay, yeah, hell yeah. So it's just him literally sliding buttons, and it's just random vents opening up, and like the <laughs> ship makes the ship move a little erratically just to give us a plus one to AC and a uh, plus one against target locks from flyby stuff. I love it. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't even have to roll. He's just doing it. He's just um, doing it. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't need any instructions he knows <laughs> so he just goes over to a panel and just like presses his hands on the top and just slides down like a kid in an elevator and just like hits a bunch of buttons and he's like i can do that you're a natural Captain cody trying to do a computer's check yeah okay uh science officer what can short jack do um he's going to use a resolve point himself um, and he's going to do, oh, this isn't a resolve point. Never mind. Um, he's going to try to target a system. And he is going to, the one that you guys have already shot a bunch, um, he is going to target the engines. So he has to do a quick roll. He succeeds. Um, cool. So he succeeds. Uh, the next weapon attack your starship makes on the enemy ship uh, scores a critical hit on a natural 19 or 20. Mm-hmm. Um, and if the attack does critical damage, it, you don't roll randomly on the uh, glitch chart. Oh, you choose. It he chooses. So yes. it's it's now the engines. So if uh, if you guys do critical threshold, uh, the engine is going to glitch. Nice. All right, Cody, it's your turn in the piloting phase. All right, uh, I'm going to evade. Okay. Uh, yep, that blows it out of the water. Um, so plus two to uh, AC and TL. Okay, so you currently have a plus three. Nice. Because of Cathan. Love that. All right, let's do some positioning checks. Uh, that is going to be 29. Uh, yes, that does it. Um, okay, so two of the ships get into position. The second one is trying to circle back around. I'll, I'll attack, you attack, and then I'll, I'll do my, my second attack. That's good. Let's do it. All right, so the first one is a 20 to hit. Not going to do it. Fuck. As the erratic flying and my evade is just like, yeah, I'm, it looks like I'm glitching. All right. Uh, it's you and Jenny's turn. Uh, I'm going to focus on that same ship, same arc, same gun. Um, I think she's going to switch to coil just to save the torpedoes. Sure. Did you say we crit on a natural 18, 19 or just 19, 20? 19 and 20. Damn it. I got an 18 on the dice, but that will definitely hit. Uh, Jenny also hits. All right. This time I'm going to actually roll 4d4s instead of one four times. 
And you did the super the overpower, right? So ones are twos? Derek? Yes. Uh yes, ones are twos. Perfect. That means that means I do ten points of damage. Yep, Jenny does eleven. Alright, I believe. Well they got a glitch at this point, right? They're glitching twice. Hmm. Which means both of them are going into <laughs> uh, Engine. the engines, which means the engines are now malfunctioning. All checks are affected, minus four, can't push the AE system. Uh, so their uh, DC and positioning checks are going to be impacted by four. Uh, so this thing is looking bad, and you see it just like the engine starts sputtering. It's not moving nearly as quickly as the other ones, or as it once was. Uh, you also see uh, Gentino in the distance and where the quarry was, you can see that there are now giant chasms Ugh. cracking out and anything that was near the quarry has now sunk into it. Uh, can I, I? I know this is probably a stupid question. But I want to make a check about it. Um, is the planet fucked? Like, I get the sense it is. But I just want to make sure, is there anything we can do to save this situation? Like, to prevent whatever's happening to the planet? Are there still spires, or are they all done with by now? From the ones you can see, they are all fucked. Okay, I don't have physical science, so I can't make that check out. Anyway, just pitch it to the class, then. I have it, I'll roll it. Oh, that's a five. Uh, Dirt, I think this is not good. Okay, okay. (laughs) Do you guys have evacuation procedures, Kathan? Because the town probably needs them. I would fucking hope that they're already doing it. If not, maybe call someone. Things don't look good. He pulls out a comm and he's trying to, uh, he's like, fuck, there's no signal. Well, they probably know. <laughs> I'm sure they know something's up. Um, you guys are now flying through Gentino, weaving through buildings. It is back to engineering. Okay. Um, you know, hey, uh, I have the resolve to do it. Wait, how, how, how fast does resolve feel before I just keep doing this? It restores every day. Okay, cool, cool. I'll just, you know what, fuck it. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, I failed. So I guess I probably shouldn't do that (laughs) again in the future. But uh, yeah, I got a 22. So unfortunately, it does not work. No bonuses for me this turn. Well, is there a fail state? Because there's usually a fail state. in these. Doesn't say anything. Doesn't say anything about fail state. Yeah, you realize that you've already maxed out. I probably have exhausted myself, too. There is, like, all the bars are maximum. They're red. All the gauges are flashing and, like, shaking beyond their limit. There is (laughs) nothing that you can do to assist here. At this point, I just turn off the indicator lights so I don't have to worry about it as much. Captain, keep hitting buttons. Yep, he's he's still going. (laughs) He's still doing it. You know what? Uh, Shortjack is going to... uh, You know what? He's going to burn one of his resolve points uh, and use lock on. And he fucking crushes it. Short Jack's coming into his own, boys. He sees that you have the one ship on the ropes, and he begins uh, slamming buttons and pressing gauges and shit. And Cody, you see on your display a little reticle appear on that ship, and it goes, beep, beep, and it says target locked. And Short Jack just says, All right, buddy, we're locked and loaded. Let him have it. Amazing. Um, you're going to get a plus two on your gunnery checks against that, uh, that first ship. Hell yeah. It is, unless, uh, Merrick, are you doing anything? Uh, I'm just going to save my action for the attack round. Okay, perfect. Uh, give me some piloting checks then, Cody. What are you doing? I'm going to evade first off. Yeah, I make it just about. Uh, I rolled a six, but I, with that plus three, oof, and then I get okay. Okay. that. Man, this second ship is really dropping the ball. I got a 25 on this positioning, and we have to beat a 22. Yeah, and it's taking minus four, so it's you do it. So uh, two of the ships get a bead on you. The second ship just keeps like keeps trying to like lock on, but then a building sort of like crumbles in front of it, and uh, and it misses, or it like it can't get a line on you. Uh, so once again, we'll do one two one. Uh, the first ship that you've attacked is going to try to hit you. It rolls a natural one. It unleashes its uh, particle beam on you and it just it, it completely whiffs and it just sort of bisects a like apartment building. Uh, it is your turn. You and Jenny. Uh, I'm keeping on this thing's tail and like as I'm shooting, you see like Cody's just like humming and he's like, I wonder if we should pick up Tom. Hope he's doing okay. That is going to be a 31 to hit. Uh, 10 points of damage. 
and I'm going to give Jenny a plus two to, to her attack. She he kills it. Um, all right. Then, sorry, you did 10? Yeah. Oh, it's fucking done. You guys manage to, as it loops around this building, you catch it right on its front and just light it up as it explodes and comes crashing down just outside the city limits. That's one. Last one is going to attempt to hit you. That is a 23. Oh, on the money. So this is going to be your... It's plus one to AC. Yeah, we have a plus one and a plus two, which makes our AC 23, which is exactly what they hit. They're coming in from behind with their particle beam uh, for 23 points of damage. Uh, So aft shields? Aft shields, correct. Ooh, we are one away from glitching, boys. Um, You hear a little warning beep, like, and Short Jack says, "Uh, guys, we probably should be a little more careful. Uh, we're, We're pushing it. Yeah, we're one away from being fucked up. Um, it is engineering. Uh, with what happened last time, I think I'm going to like pull back a little bit with what I'm doing. Uh, divert power to shields because our shields are probably low, right? Yeah, our aft is completely blown out. Cool, cool. All right, I'll, I'll divert I'll divert uh, power to shields so that way we can get that up and we can try to fix patch it up later. Uh, ooh, I think I just, just made it. Ooh, 23 with a DC 22. Ooh. Um, yep, diverting power to shields. Getting us sit back at the uh, full. Cool. Fuck yeah. Merrick, do you have something Kathan wants to do? Kathan, just keep hitting buttons, man. Uh, he runs over to the other side and now is like reaching over your shoulder, Cody, and is just like slammed a bunch of buttons. And you see that like all the exhaust ports are currently just like spewing out. He's just done like a mass like exhaust expulsion. Um, so you're just like covered in this like gross bluish steam. It is piloting. Cody, I'm going to give you my plus two here, buddy. Sure. Want me to keep uh, evading the shots or uh, get get close so they can't use those big particle beams? Let's uh, let's yeah, let's get close. Let's finish this off so we can try to help anyone else if we, if we need if need be. All right, I'm going to try to like pull back, like jam on the brakes and like fly by so that I'm under the one that just shot us as particle beam. Don't think we're going to make that one. How much do you give me? Uh, plus two for Merrick. Yeah, we're going to miss it by two. So instead of getting it right, I guess he jams the brakes on two and ends up just in the perfect position to fucking shoot us with it. All right. So he's going to get a plus two with his front arc. Yeah. As I fail the flip and burn and now or not the flip and burn. Sorry, the flyby. So now, yeah, they get a plus two to attack us with that big ass cannon. Uh, All right. Let's do some positioning checks. Uh, That is a 31. Yep. You do it. Um, so this is that's a twenty four against your DC against my DC. Yeah, you're you're rolling yeah. against me. Oh, I'm rolling against you. So okay, cool. twenty two. So, so one one ship gets it. The one that you uh, your flyby does somehow work. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> yeah, he he rolled in that one on his positioning check. So Maybe they're reloading. Out. So they're like in a good position, but they don't have the gun loaded. Uh, who are you attacking, and at what arc? Uh, I'm going to attack the one that we that shot at us that I tried to jam back towards. Um, okay. I'm going to like keep flying under it and then shoot at its front arc again. Okay. Uh, then the third one's going to... That's a 28. You hit. Uh, Jenny scores a critical hit on it. Ooh. Jesus Christ. I rolled three fucking ones. Uh, seven points of damage. Jenny's coming in with a big 20. Nice. Uh, so the shields are fucking busted on that one. Right. So you and uh, this ship sort of both slam on the brakes, trying to get a good shot on each other. And you and Jenny manage to just beat them to the punch and unload your guns on the front of that ship, cracking and shattering the shield on the front. And you can see some damage has been done to the, the hull as well. And it's going to roll it. Um, that is a 17 EAC. Or sorry, AC. Not going to do it. Okay. Then uh, it puts a couple shots on you, but just a few ping off your shields and repel the damage. Uh, engineering. Okay. Okay. Um, do we have a system? We don't have a system glitching yet. We're doing okay. Um, I'm going to divert power to our starship weapons. Okay. Uh, I got over I got over 22. Succeed. So uh, your ones turn into twos now. Amazing. Hell yeah. That was quick and easy. Merrick, where do you, are you still good? 
Uh, yeah, I'm still good. Captain, just keep the eight, one AC out. I can't really find anything else. There's something really cool I wanted to do, but it does not make sense right now. Okay. Yeah, he's uh, he's just going to keep running around. He's just like ping-ponging from station to station and occasionally just like hitting a button to or pulling a lever or flipping a switch uh, to keep them distracted. Uh, we're going to go into piloting. Cool. Uh, Cody, you can take the plus two there, sir. All right. What do you want me to do? Uh, let's just... Let's just end this. Let's... Okay. I'm just going to evade, which I do. You now see you're over sort of like the city center of Jatino, and you see Dusty's crumbling and falling into one of these giant chasms that are tearing open through Gentino, like spider webs all emanating from the quarry, just reaching out and cracking and splitting. Um, the quarry is now a huge hole the or, or the green glow of the Iberium now creeping out and through the various cracks of the city. And you see people falling in, vehicles falling in, buildings following it, falling in. You now watch as Dusty's crumbles and falls into one of the chasms. Oh. America's devastated. Do we see people in Dusty's? You see people running everywhere, and some are managing to get into like vehicles and are flying up and out uh, but you also see just as many if not more people falling into these cracks I was uh, any like uh, evacuation efforts going on or anything like that I mean you could see them trying but this happened so immediately and so like unexpectedly that just trying to get to a place where evacuation is happening is nearly impossible like there is no intact roads there is like everything is is fucked most people's cars have fallen into this chasm. So people who are in flight are probably all right when it happened, but anyone on the ground, unless they acted quick, are pretty much fucked. Um, you can see the spaceport where you guys landed is is like packed and ships are lifting off in a panic and some of them are even colliding with each other and then spiral like hooking into each other and then spiraling down and crashing to chaos. You did evade? I did. Cody, yep, perfect. Um, so we'll go into positioning. Uh, that is 29. Both of them get into position this time. Uh, okay, so it's going to be uh, two attacks coming your way. Oh, dear. The first one, fuck, not going to do it. That one's going to do it. That is a 27. Yeah, even with our erratic flying. The two have now circled around and are coming at you sort of uh, from starboard and port at the same time and are trying to fire at you at the same time, sort of like going horizontal across you. And uh, the first one fires a little too early and the beam just is, like crosses right in front of your ship. But the second one manages to hit you on the starboard port or the starboard side for yikes, 18 gonna... points of damage. Ooh, just enough um, as we glitch. All right. You're going to have to roll me a I'm going to make. I'm going to make Captain do this. Uh, roll me a D100, please. All right. Let's see what we get. Boop, 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 boop. 83. 83 is the power core. <sighs> that seems okay. like a bad one to glitch. That's yeah, literally 100%. the worst one. Everyone is going to be taking a minus two on all checks. Damn. Damn it. That sucks. I'm trying to see what I can do in engineering to fix that. Oh, wait, hold on. Nope. sorry. I'm lying. Uh, power core condition applies to all engineering actions except hold it together and patch. Malfunctioning or wrecked affects other crew members. Um, so right now it's it's just glitching. So, Darren, you're going to be taking a minus two. Okay, um, I'm going to use my patch, and it looks like I have a uh, I have a DC for glitching to fix that to fix it. I believe. Okay. Uh, this is my first time doing the patch, so I'm not. I'm just making sure we're good with it. Uh, yes, right. so glitching, it takes one action. It's a DC yep. 22 engineering check, but you're going to be taking a minus two on this. Okay, minus two. Okay. Some dice just showed up in the mail, and this <sighs> is the first roll. What? I'm so excited. First roll, I have a 29 minus two, 27. It's a success. We're no longer glitching. Yes. Thank you, Misty Mountain. Hell yeah. Okay. Perfect. You uh, put the glitch to rest um, as you feel all of the systems sort of like the entire ship goes for a second and you lose all power and the persistence just drops for a second. You manage to patch the systems and everything comes back online. And Cody, you feel the, that like pull of uh, acceleration once again 
and you are back in business. Catherine is pressing buttons. Uh, Cody, it is the helm phase. I guess you're going to keep evading. Oof. I don't think that's going to cut it. It's a plus two. Are, am I allowed to take that plus two? Yeah, I'll, take, I'll let you take the plus two. Well, with that plus two, I make it on the dot. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, short check. Plus two. Short check forgot to balance the shields. He's going to move some over to the starboard positioning. Yeah. Uh, that is a 29. Uh, yes, you do it. Uh, one ship gets in position. The other does not. As you guys fly through Gentino and over Gentino, buildings are crumbling in front of you. Uh, showers of sparks from the electricity lines are spraying everywhere. You're able to navigate this fairly well and are able to constantly keep at least one of them not being able to get a line on you. But one still does. That is a 22 AC. It's not going to do it. Fuck. As we erratically fly and it just, it misses by one. Damn. It, Good job, Captain. <laughs> Hey, I added a plus two. <laughs> it once again puts its particle beam and just like right through an apartment complex, obviously not giving a shit one way or the other about civilian casualties, only focused on destroying you. Huh. All right. You and uh, Jenny get to roll tax. Oh, yeah. Uh, Damn, I'm gonna Jenny take just rolled another one. crit. Nice. I take a plus one from the, the ship because I keep forgetting to do that. Uh, it's a 28. Uh, yes, that does hit. We don't have the thing that turns ones into gold, no? no? So eight points of laser damage. All right. Uh, this one is looking pretty fucked up. How much uh, damage Jenny does... does... Jenny did eight or er, 16. Nice. Is it glitching? Oh, yes. It does have to glitch. Um, I have to roll D D100. Its power core also begins glitching. Nice. You can see it also have that same, like, poof, like drop. And uh, you can tell it's it's not going as well for them. Okay. Engineering. Okay. So since we patched that up, I am going to... I'm actually going to do overpower again if someone wants to help out. I'm, I'm, I'm confident again. Uh, the, light, the blinking lights are now off. I've turned them like slightly just a little bit so there is no blinking. I'm feeling confident again in them. I will definitely give you some aid. Okay. Come on. Uh, yeah, just going to be a plus two. Plus two. Okay. Here we go. That's a 29 plus two. So that's a 31. We succeed. Power up to um, shields, piloting, and weapons. Okay. That's cool. where we're doing it. So your shields are going to be back up to full? Hell yeah. Yes. Good job, Dirt. Oh, man. You, are- <laughs> you know, you know when you just turn off the indicators, it just you just feel a lot better about things. Highly recommend it. I understand. Uh, Short Jack leans over to you, uh, Dirt, and just says, um, do you get the feeling that Cody's being freakishly chipper about everything uh, yes yes um i i it'll, i'm sure it'll work itself out okay uh it, it is the helm phase i'm going to evade again that's a nat 20 damn okay so that gives you, you something a plus four to shields yeah 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 now are we also getting is Catherine still hitting buttons yeah oh yeah Fuck yeah, boys. Cody's just like, woo, as he just like pulls us into a crazy spiral and he's just like dipping between buildings. Oh my God. <laughs> we, need, we just need to get off this fucking planet <laughs> so bad. Well, it won't be a planet in a little bit, so. Yeah, I mean, that's like a he's, fair point. He's almost like dipping underneath collapsing buildings as they're going. And you know what? This one rolled a fucking nat one on its positioning check. So the second one, um, is keeping you like perfectly in its sights. It's following your your f- crazy flying, no problem. But the one at the back uh, crashes into that building. It doesn't manage to get underneath it, and that building crushes it. And the last uh, or the the third ship just gets absolutely demolished, and it explodes and takes another building with it. As all of it just kind of crumbles into one of these new chasm that rips open into the ground. Oopsies. Okay. Uh, give me some attack rolls. This guy's also going to try to shoot your aft. Uh, I never did my positioning roll, and I think I might have failed it. Oh. Uh, I don't know. That's a 20. Um, wait. Uh, oh, wait. It's bonuses for my pos- positioning roll, uh, for his positioning roll, right? No, just against your DC. Yeah. DC, okay. Fair enough. Uh, you're adding your three? I am. 
All right. Yeah. Then you, uh, you're too busy having a good time flying around. Uh, this guy also misses his attack. So yeah, I rolled a two. <laughs> All right. Engineering. Oh, it's just so surprising. It came up so quick. Okay. I'm going to divert power to weapons. Okay. Uh, Catherine's Nat pressing 20. buttons. Nat 20. Ooh, Damn. So that? every one, it counts as max damage. What? <gasps> Fuck yeah. Let's rock and roll. Oh, these new dice, boys. All right. Um, we're going into Helm. Uh, Captain, are you doing anything before Cody rolls any piloting checks? Uh, I'm going to give a plus two. Okay. If I do it, and I do it. All right, Cody, what are you doing? Do any of the stunts give me... They don't give me any bonuses to attacking, do they? No, I don't think so. I'm going to... You know what? I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to fly by and try to negate that forward arc of the one that's ch- at chasing us again. Okay. Uh, I fail. It's a 26. I miss it by one. Damn. As I really recklessly just, like, pull back, I'm like, oh, oops. Um, okay, well, it's going to... It's going to do it. It's going to try to get into position and, and let your aft up again. Okay. My positioning is a 29. Rolled a nat 20 on my positioning, so mm. it's a good thing you're not taking uh, 16 mm. D8s. Yeah, that would be shit. Uh, oh what did you get on your positioning? 29. Okay, so you're good. Uh, you and Jenny will get to attack. Oh, fuck me. It rolled a nat 1 on its attack roll. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take a plus 1 on my gunnery. Uh, Jenny's starting to get freaked out by the way you're flying, so she switches to the torpedoes, and she's going to try to finish this last thing. Yeah, I'm flying like a crazy person. Like, when I go back, like, we had all the advantage, and I completely pull back, fuck it up, right into that thing's firing arc as the ships are, as the buildings are coming down around us, and I, like, flip the ship upside down to fire backwards at its front arc again. That's going to be a 22. Yes. Max damage, baby. Come on. You get some ones in there. I got yeah. one one, so that's yes. good. 13 points of damage. Uh, okay, this thing, how do you finish this bad boy off? Uh, like, I pull back into, like, the worst position. It's right behind us. It's charging up its laser cannon, and I flip the ship upside down and just, like, pew, 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 like, right through the fucking, uh, like, right through the windshield and just kill the pilot. Uh, yeah, and you see it spiral down into the ground and explode as just Gentino pretty much doesn't exist anymore. Um, but the threat of uh, combat is now over. And I write the ship. I'm like, whoa, that was crazy. Anybody we could save down below? Uh, looks, looks out the window. <laughs> it's not good. Okay, where to now then? I, I look at Short Jack and I'm like, uh, yeah, okay. And I give him a nod, like, showing that I'm I'm a bit concerned, too. <laughs> um, can I roll a perception just, just to see if I, like, is it gone past the point of no return? You don't need to roll a perception check, yes. And you need to get out soon. All right. Let's, um, Cody, everyone prepare to be going through the atmosphere. Okay, where to? Just out of here for now. We'll finalize it once we're safely away. I just uh, I start riding up. You guys begin gunning it and Cathan is like glued to the window as he watches his home get torn asunder by the iridium toxicity and chunks of Gentino are now splitting from it and the further you get from the planet the clearer the picture of its destruction. You look down at the planet and you see it crumbling. You see it shattering and fracturing, and you know that in a few more moments, Usuron will be destroyed. I wouldn't even know what to say in this. Yeah, Cathan is standing there, his hands pressed against the window, watching his home destroy itself. I think we're all really bad with um, with emotions, so <laughs> we're just kind of, I guess we're just like, we, I wouldn't know. Darren wouldn't know. It. So where are we going next, guys? Short Jack hops down from the science station and he finally clocks what you brought in. And he looks at it and goes, um, guys, what's the what's the big glowing thing in the bag? Um, oh, it's glowing. It's been glowing blue this whole time. It's uh, Asim's. It's probably the only evidence we have of what he's trying to achieve. And even if he survived, what just happened down there? 
Let's be careful and let's see what's inside. I really hope it's not a big bomb. At this point, would you be surprised? No. <sighs> Feels like a big bomb kind of day. That would be funny. Uh, Jenny, uh, I'm understanding what's happening a bit. <laughs> Concerned. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Jenny. Let's... Jenny shoots a look at the the two of you, uh, Merrick and Duran, about Cody and. Mm-hmm. Kathin is still just completely silent and staring out the window. Shortjack walks over to the big net mesh bag and he pulls it down and you recognize it. You've seen it once before. It is the power core of one of the spikes. Huh. Huh. Hmm. (laughs) Huh. (laughs) Uh, you know oddly enough i was expecting a bomb did asim like start like by did what did he was he trying to fix it or was he trying to dismantle it i mean is it is it clearly like a used one that it came out of one of the towers it's 100 percent what yeah when and how we got it you're not sure Mm -hmm. but Mm -hmm. it is you saw it when the the synonins were forced to attack it earlier yeah, and it's it's definitely one of the power cores, and you can tell that it is like looking at it. It, it is very much uh, very similar to the Eris reactor as well. So it's a Valai. Oh, interesting. Okay, is there any danger with it in its current state on the ship? No, it is. It is completely stable. It is completely functional. It. I mean, like in terms of like, I, I don't think you'd be able to repurpose it for anything because that is yeah. very specifically how that kind of technology works. Um, it is it's good for one thing and one thing only. But like it is it has been removed at to uh, a, a degree that it's it's just there. It's not posing any threat, really. OK, why would he why would he take one of these? I have no idea unless he needed <sighs> it to fuel himself or something else. Well, remember when he took something from the tree? That was also the lie, right? Oh, yeah. He's collecting the lie. Maybe he is consuming them. Maybe that's where he gets his powers from. Um, Short Jack, when we when we have a chance, can you just give us a one over? Maybe he's good gooping himself and other people are bad gooped. You guys notice while you're standing there looking at it, there is a the center console has something open on it. And there is like a notification flashing saying uh, one message unread. On the on this doohickey? No, not on like in your in the ship, the, like the oh. little center console like table thing where you guys like look at maps and stuff. Um, okay, let's go over. Uh, open the message. Um, and you notice that it's Satir, and it's on the ship. And uh, judging by like what he's wearing and everything, um, it is while he was on the ship before he uh, got taken over again. I'm gonna grab a coffee. Does anybody want one? You sure you don't want to be here for this? Yeah, Cody. Uh, I'll take a coffee, buddy. Take your time. Okay, great. Bye. I go and start making some coffees. He, You can see Satir, and then as he starts signing, he kind of like blurs out, and then a box appears, and it translates the message. It says, thank you for rescuing me. I always hoped that someone would come get me, and I'm glad it was you. I'm glad I got to see you. One last time, I'm glad I got to be on the ship that I called home one last time. I'm sorry for whatever I'm about to do. I'm losing control, and I want to make sure that when I go out, I go out the way I want to, and not at the will of some thing. I don't think that the rest of the crew are dead. I'm pretty sure they're out there somewhere. I, on the train... You guys were talking about a Project Dahlia, and I'm pretty sure that has something to do with the question. And if I'm right, they would be on me. That's where they took the question. And then uh, there's a silence. And once again, the, the video clarifies, and you see Satir draw a pistol, and he raises it up to his head, and then his eyes turn blue. He lowers the pistol and disappears off frame. Where did you say they might be? What did he, what did he say on me? Knee? Knee. It's like the frozen planet that you went to. Yeah. 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 He said that the question is probably on knee. What does he mean by the question? Yeah, I don't know. I... Cody, where are you in the room? No, nope, I, I went and made coffees. I'm probably coming back at this point. I start handing them out. Okay. Uh, give me a perception check. Uh, 12, 13. That's enough to know that uh, the video that played had the captioning and 
not the best. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm not really looking at the video, though. Um, That's good. <sighs> I noticed it, and I'm like, oh, already done? Cody, you knew Satir better than any of us. Yeah. So, not really. You guys were here longer. No, but you guys had a connection. Where do you guys want to bury him? We'll deal with that. I need you to watch this video one more time and just let me know if there's anything you notice. Sure. Um, so you, you watch the video again. And in the background, you can tell that like you, you can. It's like watching a movie in another language where you also speak the language and the language in the subtitles. And you like see where the translation is off. And you realize that he's not saying the question, but rather query. Oh, queries on me. Crazy. 